Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about the base excision rapier where damage to DNA is repaired by enzymatic activity and make sure to note here that it's a single strand DNA rapier mechanism not a double strand rapier mechanism so here the damage to a single strand gets repaired we see here we have a normal DNA molecule present within the cell and when it gets exposed to chemicals or radiations it spontaneously damages the bases in a strand and most of the time we see single base gets damaged among the four bases that's ATGC adenine thymine guanine and cytosine the single base damage is mediated by hydrolytic deamination oxidation and alkylation but hydrolytic deamination is more pronounced which transforms the bases into abnormal bases like cytosine adenine and guanine bases in dna spontaneously form uracil hypoxanthine or xanthine respectively which you will never find in normal dna and when this type of damage is found in the cell the base excision rapier comes into play to repair the damage now let's have a look on the enzymes that drive the base excision rapier first of all we have dna glycosylase it recognizes the lesion and removes the damaged base from the strand then we have ap endonuclease apurinic or apyrimidinic endonuclease depending upon which base is damaged either it may be purine or pyrimidine this ap endonuclease recognizes the AP site that's the missing base site and creates sneak in phosphodiester backbone. Then we have DNA polymerase which inserts the missing base to DNA. And finally the ligase enzyme seals the nick. But we have also another enzyme here that's called flap endonuclease in the form of PEN1. It removes the 5' prime flap generated during long patch base excision repair. That's when more than one base is being synthesized from AP site. So that time this flap endonuclease also works in. Now let's see the detailed mechanism of base excision rapier. When the normal DNA gets exposed to chemicals and radiations, it damages the DNA. And one process is the hydrolytic deamination, where the cytosine base in the strand changes into uracil. So the chemical damage or the radiation damage changes this cytosine ba base into uracil. Now in a DNA molecule we have uracil instead of cytosine. Till now it will not harm the cell or any process yet. But during the process of replication when this damaged strand having damaged base is used as a template strand it will change the genetic code in the new DNA. The base should be cytosine here and DNA polymerase will complementary synthesize guanine. But this does not happen here. We have the uracil instead of cytosine here. And for the complementary base uracil, the adenine will be synthesized by DNA polymerase during replication, thereby changing the genetic code and it will cause point mutation. So after having uracil in strand of DNA, it's immediately controlled by the DNA glycosylase. That's uracil DNA glycosylase. This enzyme eliminates uracil from DNA molecule by cleaving the N glycosylic bond and initiating the base excision rapier. So now we have a DNA with removed base, and the site where base is missing is termed as AP site. Then, after this AP site is recognized by AP endonuclease which cleaves the AP site to yield a 3-hydroxyl adjacent to a 5-deoxyribose phosphate as you can see in this diagram. Now we have a widened DNA strand and this void is to be filled by the enzymes known as DNA polymerases and DNA ligase. The DNA polymerase and DNA ligase finally jumps in where DNA polymerase inserts the missing base that cytosine and the nick is sealed by DNA ligase eventually. So this is how the base excision mechanism works in when damage to DNA is found in the cell in the form of base damage in single strand. 
i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel thanks